Good morning, everybody, and Happy New Year. Greetings from Buena Park, California. And across the street from me is the Buena Park Knott's Berry Farm Hotel. And the skyline here in back of me might be changing in the next couple of years because yes, there are leaked rumors that Knott's Berry Farm is getting a giga. I'm walking along Crescent Avenue here and on the south side of the street are mostly apartment buildings. Now, I'm sure these people don't really want to hear a lot of extra noise, but I do know that B&M, when they make their coasters, they can fill the tracks with sand, which really dampen the amount of noise that you hear. There's already a lot of traffic uh, coming through here. You can hear the traffic on the street. The train whistle blows. You can hear some screaming from some of the other rides, uh, depending on the weather conditions. I grew up not too far from Knott's Berry Farm. This is my home territory. I grew up about three miles from here. And on certain days, I could hear the train whistle pretty regularly. And if anything, it almost seems like comfort. And when I'm at Knott's now and I hear the train whistle, it just brings me back to memories of my childhood. On the north side of the street, you can see that there are a lot of tall pine trees. Now, I'm sure the roller coaster is going to go far above them, but they might offer some break in sound. Knott's Berry Farm, like Disneyland and Magic Mountain, is suffering from a capacity problem. Uh, you know, back in the day when they originally started these parks, like right in the 19. 50s, 60s, 70s, uh, the population of Los Angeles wasn't what it is today. So if everybody back then wanted to go to a theme park, uh, it was a lot more affordable and a lot more elbow room. But now we got like 13 million people here in the Los Angeles area. And if everybody wants to go to Disneyland, it just doesn't happen. There's just not enough room. So all the parks are trying to build more capacity, expanding their boundaries, expanding their rides, so that they can uh, take in more people. And uh, it's true with Knott's Berry Farm. And I think B&M Giga is a good choice because it is a people eater. Uh, the trains with four cross seating do really well at funneling people in and out of the attraction rather quickly. So Knott's could use a high capacity ride such as that. And even though the coaster will be in the ghost town section, the majority of the coasters out around the perimeter and around the parking lot. Here's Grand Avenue now. You can see where Ghost Rider hops over this tiny little street, which is kind of an exit to the shopping area of the park. And this is where we're gonna have another, hopefully, hop over of the new coaster and the turnaround. Adding the lift hill of over 300 feet is definitely gonna give this ride a great preview from the freeway. And here on Crescent Avenue, which is kind of a, a secondary street, it's really going to give the hotel a good branding too. This thing is going to be massive and will change the skyline forever. I'm guessing they will probably paint it purple and pink, something that has a boysenberry theme. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that they call it something like Berry 325 or if it's going to have a maximum drop of 347, maybe Barry 347. What are your thoughts about this coaster, Barry 325? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you think it's gonna happen. Let me know if you think it's a good addition to the park, or if you have any concerns. I will be following up on this project if and when it happens. I'm Ken, and thank you for watching.